Hey everyone, Irix Guy here. Just wanted to do a review of this. Now, I just installed this. It's the Seagate GoFlex Home Network Storage System, also commonly referred to as a NAS, Network Attached Storage. Now, this one was a little interesting because the reviews, the consensus, and this was across all different sites, Newegg, Amazon, etc., and uh, other searches that I popped open on, uh, on Google. But the consensus opinion for this product was somewhat unfavorable. And I found that to be very, uh, very strange given the fact that it is a Seagate product. Now, if you've, uh, if you've grown up around computers, building computers, you've probably had a lot of experience with Seagate and other hard drive manufacturers. Now, I have, I've had zero problems throughout my entire life with Seagate products. So because of the price point, and I got the two terabyte model because of the price point I jumped on it despite the uh, overwhelmingly negative reviews and I'm glad that I did and I want to explain within this video why a lot of people may have had a less than satisfactory experience with this product for starters what I did as soon as I took it out of the box I connected it to the network I did not install the CD I run Mac computers here even if I ran Windows computers it wouldn't matter I did not install the CD on my computers. All that I did is connect the NAS to the uh, to my network. I've got gigabit ethernet in my house, so I plugged it in, fired up my computer, went to my router to see which uh, IP address was dynamically assigned to this, uh, to this Seagate NAS, got the IP, popped open my web browser, browsed to HTTP colon forward slash forward slash IP address that was assigned to this device. And sure enough, as soon as I browsed to that, within my web browser, I was able to see the setup process. It did not come with a password. There's a lot of stuff, what's the default password? Out of the box, this has no password. So if you browse to the web address, when you get there, it's going to step you through setting up your username and password for administrative purposes. And then it'll take you through the, uh, the rest of the setup where you can specify your shares, whatever. Now all that I did, I went in, it was a super duper, I mean idiot proof, straightforward process for uh, for setting this up. I mean, I'm I, I, obviously I'm very computer savvy. I've been dealing with uh, uh, servers, workstations, networks, everything for, for over 25, 30 years. So I've had a lot of experience in the field. However, even if I had not had that experience, once I was greeted with that web browser uh, based interface, I was, I was able, anybody should be able to easily go through that. So at a high level, all I did, I entered my customizations. I, I gave the device a name. I gave it something goofy, just because I like goofy stuff. And, uh, and then the most important thing that I did within the web interface, it, there's, an, there's an update feature. So I did a, a check for update, and sure enough, as, as you would expect, out of the box, this did not have the most current firmware, so it said update whatever's available would you like to download. Through the web interface, I hit download, and then I hit install, it was idiot proof. And actually, I was so satisfied with the process uh, that I then went to my, uh, I've actually got two, two Mac computers that I'm using time machine functionality out of this for. Now, if you're not familiar with the Mac, time machine's a built-in backup uh, piece of software into OS X. So I was actually, without any customization whatsoever, I didn't have to do anything within the web interface or whatever, but this device appeared uh, with, by, within Time Machine on both of my Macs. So I got a MacBook Air and an iMac. They found the Time Machine device, which is this device. I initiated a backup, boom, good deal. So that's two gigs. Two gigs of storage that I'm gonna use out of this for uh, Time Machine purposes. But I also had an external uh, USB hard drive, a two terabyte hard drive that uh, that I was going to plug into this as well. So I thought, okay, it can't be this easy, but it was. All that I have, all that I had to do is plug in my USB hard drive into the back of this NAS, and I went from two terabytes that was included within this NAS. Now it does come. I think there's a three terabyte version of this, but I got the two because of the price. So it's got two inside, but then when I connected my two terabyte external USB hard drive, 
I've now got four terabytes being served up on my home network thanks to this bad boy right here. So could I be happier? Actually, I couldn't be happier. The only thing that would make, and keep in mind, this, this is not painfully slow read and write. There's a lot of people out there that say that it is, which I can understand that. If you build your own NAS, you know, you're spending five, six, seven hundred, maybe a thousand dollars or more on a high performance uh, business class NAS. Sure, that's going to be a little bit <laughs> quite considerably faster from a read and write perspective. But this has gigabit Ethernet connectivity. This has plenty of storage space. And this came in for me just a little bit over a hundred bucks. That's unheard of. So I'm super satisfied with it. If you're on the fence, I hope that you're watching this review and it, and it encourages you to take the jump and uh, pick up this awesome piece of, uh, of network attached storage. And to make it even a little bit more awesome, I said, okay, everything's worked so far. I'm going to install the smartphone app. So they had a smart, Seagate has a smartphone app. Sure enough, I installed it on my iPhone and I was able to access all the files from this device at my home network. But then I took it a step further and I went out in uh, cellular range. So I was no longer on my home network. I was on uh, LTE. And from LTE, I was able to successfully open files that were on this drive. So it's, it's absolutely incredible. I've had nothing but a perfect experience with this product so far. Now, if that experience changes, of course, I'll let everyone know. But super duper deal. And again, this is the Seagate GoFlex. GoFlex Home Network Attached Storage. Highly recommend it. Thanks for tuning in. Feel free to subscribe. It's uh, youtube.com forward slash Irix guy. Y'all have a good day.